For the second year in a row, the Elite National Championship will be presented at La Tohu in Montreal on January 12th and 13th, 2019. During this tournament, the top eight athletes in each weight category will be coming from all over Canada to try to win a national title. Pour une deuxième année consécutive, les championnats nationaux élites auront lieu à la Tohu à Montréal le 12 et le 13 janvier 2019. Pendant ce tournoi, les huit meilleurs athlètes dans chaque catégorie de poids viendront de partout au pays afin de tenter de remporter un titre national. One of the athletes to watch in this year's tournament, of course, is Shari Al Nahas, who will be competing at the 2019 National Championship. Just last month, Chari competed at the Osaka Grand Slam in Osaka, Japan. And guess what? He won a silver medal, his first medal at a senior Grand Slam. Let's speak to Chari about his experience. All right, so we've got Shari Al Nahas on the phone. How are you doing this morning, Shari? I'm good, how are you? Not too bad, sir. Let's jump right into it. Uh, Obviously, last month you were at uh, in Osaka for the Grand Slam, the 2018 Osaka Grand Slam. Your first opponent was uh, Czech Republic's Heckel, and you beat Heckel. Speaking of heckling, your second match was against Mongolia's Kasva Shoren, and you had the audience, the Osaka audience, roaring. It only took you 15 seconds to, to throw him on the tatami via Ogoshi. The crowd enjoyed that. I think you enjoyed it as well. You were clapping. Uh, tell us about that match. Yes, so I that that fight was very very stressful for me. Why is that? Uh, that uh, because that guy just uh, won a bronze medal at the senior world championship, and he actually beat the guy, the Japanese that I met in the finals. Mm -hmm. Wolf. So I was expecting a really hard fight. So you went into it, and obviously you you executed. Uh rather quickly, 15 seconds into the match, and I believe it was uh, an Ogoshi, and the crowd erupted. Uh, how did you feel after winning that? It was just a reaction. Uh, it felt pretty good. I was really, like, after, after that fight, uh, my, my confidence went up, went up really high. It certainly did, and you moved on to face the very tough and strong judoka, a big thrower who, you know, who's always fun to watch. I say Fonseca puts the fun in judo. Uh, he's very, very uh, strong, as I mentioned, a big thrower. What was your mindset going into that match against Fonseca? Uh, so Fonseca, uh, I was in Portugal for a training camp and I fought him, and I did pretty good with him, but I know competitions are different. But I was still confident. I, I thought I could figure him out, and uh, I went. I went in, and I and I ended that. I, uh, me and Michelle, my coach, had a game plan, and, and it worked perfectly. Now, how tall are you? I'm six feet. Okay, I, I thought so because you seem you seem very big and long, uh, and you clearly dominated Fonseca. How powerful was he? You've you've trained with him before, as you mentioned. How physically powerful was he? He's 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 so explosive. It was it's probably the fastest man of in my division. Now, momentum was certainly on your side as you moved on to face uh, in your semifinals against uh, Japanese judoka Kentaro Ida. And you could hear the Canadian judokas, your fellow judokas, cheering for you in the background. And you were clearly fired up during this match. Tell us about this one. Oh, that was really cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, all, all my teammates were, were cheering for me, which was really, really cool. And course the home crowd was against me mm -hmm. but uh, at the towards the end I had a, a huge hit throw it didn't score but it was uh, it was probably the highlight reel of that fight for sure and and speak to us about the the Japanese audience because obviously they're they're very respectful uh, but they're also animated because you know of course they have one of their fellow Japanese um, judokas on on the tatamis facing a Canadian well what's the vibe like at uh, at the Osaka uh, Grand Slam. It's really amazing. It's probably, I, in my opinion, probably the biggest, strongest Grand Slam. So it's pretty intense to go there. It was always my dream to go there and medal. And now speaking of dreams, obviously you moved on to the final match. This is in the under 100 kilos division. That's under that's under 220 pounds for those who can't convert from kilo to pounds. And uh, you faced um, the 2017 World's Judo Champion, that's Aaron Wolf, for the gold medal match. Tell us, uh, tell us about this match. 
So, of course, before the finals, me and Michelle had a game plan. And when I went into a fight, I I felt them, and uh, the game plan just didn't work. And in the very beginning, I had a choke, and it was super tight, but at the very last second, it slipped. Uh, so that was unfortunate, but after that, the gripping and the kumikata was uh, was hard to get, so he kind of took over a little bit in the in that department. Now, as as far as uh, that choke there earlier on in the match, it seemed that the referee let the Niwaza action go, and I think fans, you know, generally enjoy seeing a lot of Niwaza action, particularly for those who who cross train in other in other grappling sports, be it Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Sambo, so on and so forth. What was um what was your thought on that as far as, uh, you know, that, that transition he countered and rolled out? And it seemed like he, he was waiting for, for the ref to call Mate um, after he countered that. What was your thought on, uh, on the Niwaza action there? Yeah, uh, it was, uh, when I was joking, I can hear him uh, breathe uh, and squeal because uh, the joke was super tight. So in my head, I was like, I'm going to be the champion. Like, I'm going to win this whole tournament. Mm. And it just slipped towards the end, so that was really unfortunate. What's the main takeaway from you? Obviously, you know, you, this is your first medal in a senior Grand Slam, so congratulations to you, Shari Al Nas. It's very impressive. What, what's the main takeaway for you um, from this particular match against the 2017 World Judo Champion, Aaron Wolf? Uh, well, thank you, and uh, I just need to put some weight and muscle on, and I think I feel next time I fight him, it's going to be a heavy different result. Uh, and my plan is just to keep keep the ball going and uh, to, to medal in a lot of competitions I do, hopefully. Now, give us an idea of what your training routine is like from Monday to Sunday. I know you t- this morning it's Sunday morning and you're, you're off to training shortly, but just give us a kind of a summary and overview of, of the pace you, you you take? Uh, so now, uh, usually we train two times a day. But for me now, I'm trying to put on some weight. So I usually go to the gym four times a week in the morning. As well as in the morning as well, I do... Sorry, pardon me. Yes. So I do four times uh, a week gym in the morning and two times technical and then at night every night Monday to Friday I do judo so I'm, I'm trying to basically train sometimes three times a day now uh how how much do you weigh about what 210 yeah around so I'm trying to yeah I'm about 210 are you hoping to transition to to the heavyweight division uh, that, that's uh, plus 100 kilo no 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 I'm, I'm Sticking to minus hundred, I think once you go to the plus hundred, the judo quality is uh, it gets lower, and uh, minus hundred, in my opinion, is the strongest division right now, and I like I like the intensity of it. Now, what does it mean for you personally and and professionally to be meddling, uh, you know, uh, at this first ever for you senior Grand Slam? Uh, a lot of it, it's huge. It's honestly um, huge. On um, the Olympic. Uh, on the Olympic uh, tour, this is probably one of the most pre- prestigious uh, tournaments to win, and not a lot of people medal. It's really rare to medal, so it was uh, it was huge. It was probably it is my biggest accomplishment. It was, it was really huge to me. Now, obviously, you put in a lot of time, training, and so on. This is something that requires full dedication. What's your grand vision? What what what, what are you hoping to gain? From uh, competing at uh, in international judo, what, what, what are your goals and dreams? I, I love the competition. Uh, I want to be the best in the world. So uh, I want to I want to be remembered. I want to be like Nicholas Gill in judo. I want to be a legend in the sport. So that's that's my plan. Hopefully, and after that, I can just make a name for myself as well. Right on. And you're only 20 years old, correct? Yes. Wow. So you've got uh, you've got uh, quite the future ahead of you. Uh, now you'll be competing at the 2019 Elite National Championships in Montreal this coming January. Tell us what's so special about this major judo event. It's super special because they only take the top eight uh, in the country. So it's 
really high quality judo. So every fight is probably going to be a hard fight. And is there someone in particularly uh, in particular, excuse me, in Canada that you have a rivalry with in your division? Uh, not really, honestly. In my under uh, my division is kind of on the entry side in Canada, except there's Kyle Reyes from Japan, so he's really, really strong, and he medaled at like, a, a lot of uh, Grand Prix, Grand Prix, he actually medaled at Senior Awards before, so. Yeah, so basically him or me are going to the Olympics. Now, what would you say the culture is like in Canada when it comes to the sport of judo? How does Canada differ from other countries that partake in the sport of judo? Well, I think lately Canada has been doing a lot of good results. Of course, the people like the Canadian people don't know much about judo, but... Well, they, they will know. They will know. Exactly. They'll start knowing. And... We've been making really good results. A lot of people like Arthur is always meddling, Jessica Plunkett is always meddling, Krista Deguchi is always meddling, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing, the Canadian team is, is actually, I think, progress the best this year out of all the countries. Moving forwards to, of course, the 2020 Summer Olympics in, in Japan, how fitting would it be for a Canadian to, to medal and, and, and take the gold uh, I, I think that would be awesome. Thank you very much for your time and uh, all the best in the near future. And we hope to speak to you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't you dare miss the Elite National Championship in Montreal on January 12th and 13th, 2019. Get your tickets. Live streaming will be made available on judocanada.tv for those who can't attend the event in person. Thank you very much for listening to this interview. Make sure you hit like, hit share. Make sure you like the Judo Canada Facebook page as well as its Twitter account. My name is Garmami.